Now let me ask you, what is long, not deficient at all, and is European? No, it is not your imaginary French girlfriend, but rather, it is the one and only long boy or a girl? What? Wait, why do we even call planes a she? Hmm. I would like to introduce to you the topic of today's Explore Aviation, aviation with, with minimums. minimums, the Airbus A340, one of the longest Airbus ever to set to the skies. Don't you think we're done? The Airbus A340 was designed by Airbus in the 70s as their new wide body jet in accordance with the A330 design. It took its first flight on October 25, 1991. Now, 1991 was a year that even me, minimums, did not even exist. So yeah, this plane is quite old. There were four variants of this aircraft being the A340-200, the A340-300, the A340-500, and lastly, the A340-600, being which the difference is length. Thus, the A340-600 creation set the world record for being the longest aircraft for a while before being beaten by the Boeing 747-8 Intercontinental by just about 0.96 meter or about 3.15 feet. There were 377 A340s that were built throughout its production lifespan and one of those flew the Philippine airline livery a340-300 before it was retired in 2019 to be replaced by the much more efficient Airbus A350. It gained one of the most memorable nicknames like the hair dryer as one of the engine variants which is the CFM 56-5C looks exactly like that. Take a look at this. I mean, it really looks like one of those things that is used to blow your hair dry. Like, don't try it though, it really isn't a wonderful experience I may say, as one of those CFMs produce around 18,500 to 34,000 pounds of trust. And then, we have the flying pencil nickname. Like, look at those. You can't blame the plane spotters to call it that, especially the Airbus A340-600, the longest among the variants. I may also add that the second engine option that this aircraft provide is the Rolls-Royce Trent 500 which can produce 61,900 pounds of thrust which was used later for the A340-500 and the Dash 600 variant. Disclaimer for the following section. I am not a pilot of any aircraft in real life and my opinions is purely out of my approximately 1,000 hours on simulators. So be warned. With that out of the way, the A340 has the Airbus trademark fly-by-wire system that almost all Airbus aircraft possess, which basically makes the plane a lot easier to fly and in theory, hard to crash accidentally, which we will talk about in a future video. But with some caveats, obviously the A340 is long, so long that the Airbus decided to have a specific take of pace where it prevents any tail strikes that this aircraft is obviously prone to. With that said, the cockpit layout of the A340 is like the typical Airbus cockpit that we get as for ease of training and familiarity. But obviously, we got those four engines this time around. It is just sad that this aircraft is slowly retiring because airline choose the more efficient and newer dual-engine wide bodies compared to the quad engine 
that this Airbus A340 provides. Airlines opted to get the newer Airbus A350 or the Boeing 787, which is the Boeing counterpart, rather than to get the old Airbus A340 or the Airbus A380, which has four engines, or even the Boeing 747, which has four engines. This is because operating this aircraft has extra costs as well as for maintenance. But that's it, basically. To conclude our wonderful short exploration of the Airbus A340 aircraft, which at one point is the longest aircraft in the world, and I would really, really love to still be able to catch a flight on one of these beasts one day. Now, enjoy my A340-600 video from my live stream on the fictional Philippine Airlines A340-600 livery. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more aviation content. And also catch our almost daily live stream which starts around 1300 Zulu or 9 p.m. Philippine local time. Enjoy! How are you guys doing? You're doing fine, doing great. I hope you're doing great, guys. Because I'm doing great. Yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna have my second screen. So, yeah. I'm gonna have my second monitors tomorrow. So I can monitor the chat much more better. Let's start engine number one and two. Wow, this plane is pretty damn long. Yeah, as the title say, this is gonna be a two hour stream, guys. So, hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing cool. as smooth as possible because it's freaking hard to taxi this is a long aircraft long boy oh my goodness we are lucky to have this camera here so we can observe the wheels take a look at that camera doing its wonderful job as we taxi the aircraft There we go. Can we get a shish on the chat, guys? Sheesh! It took the whole goddamn turn pad here at Davao. Never been to Davao in real life, guys. But hopefully, I will. I get to dive up pretty soon. You get to go to Davao pretty soon. Because they say that Davao is a nice city. Like all the cities here in the Philippines and on the world. Alright, we are fully lined up in the runway and we are ready to take off and take this piece for our ride to Manila. So make sure that we turn off our taxi cam. So we have the primary flight display on the view. And we're gonna turn on our landing lights. And I forgot to turn on the beacon lights as well. For some reason, the beacon lights I forgot to turn on. The 777-9X, the largest twin engine aircraft, is even longer than the 747 Wow. Alright, without further ado, let's take off. The left side, the right side, everything is clear, let's take off. Flex 59 Sir, that's not a trust me I'll be right rather here
Okay. A little bit to the left side will do us good. On the glide. A little bit low, correcting. There's our correction. 400. Back. Done. 100 above. 300. Minimum. Continue. Minimum. 200. Back. My reverse are not working, but we have landed.